Welcome to part 5 of the Arizona 1200 scale build, a model by Trumpeter. And um, in this uh, part, we're going to work on uh, step 6 and 7, and probably 8 and 9. This is not a lot of photo edge um, dealt with in this. So what we've got here, we've got some uh, bent tubes. There was, uh, there's a left and a right bent tube, which are these, which I've labeled. I know left and right. Um, got a couple here. These actually go down against the uh, uh, turrets on the deck. Then we've got a uh, projection booth all the way on there. And then there's a vent uh, front they call it. it. Stands up as well. Now these parts actually, even though we're putting them together in step six, going by the instructions, uh, they don't get put on the ship until step 40. This is the reason why I need putting them in separate little containers like this, putting them away safely so when the time comes I can pull them out, which will be a long way down the track. Which will be a long way down the track. So because we've got a little bit of space in this container, we're going to also add steps 7, 8, 9, which include catapults, the crane. So there's two catapults. Uh, One's quite basic with no photo etch. Uh, the second one has a little bit of photo etch from the kit. Uh, from the property kit. And the crane, I haven't gone into yet, but that does seem to have just a tiny bit of photo etch. Now what I've noticed too is uh, the Mark 1 uh, detail we have all the instructions for here. Um, I There were two versions of this kit. There was one that was half the price of the second one. So there was a, a full detail kit, which was, well, in Australian dollars, was over $300. Or well, there was this one, which was like $150 odd dollars, which I thought was enough. Well, I still think is enough. And I'm happy with it, but what I've found out is that uh, the instructions, when you look at all these pictures with all the photo etch and where everything goes, it's on place on the ship. They're the same instructions that come from the full detail kit, which means that there's a lot of photos in, well, these photos include the pieces from the full detail kit. So, for instance, uh, on these little vents here, in the photos I saw in the, from the detail kit, there's a vent sitting on there, just a little grill. Looks nice sitting on there. Now, I went right through the kit. I went through all the photo etch uh, I've got all here, all these sheets, and I couldn't find that vent anywhere. And I thought, well, that's strange. And I realized that, ah, that was in the more expensive kit. So there's a few things I'm going to have to compromise that, you know, that this kit's not including. And unfortunately, one of the things that this kit does not seem to be including, even though there are photos here, is a lot of these stairways or ladders um, going through. Uh, going through the different areas of the ship. So I went through all these here and there's practically no ladders in here at all. I think I found two. Uh, which means that a lot of the ladders I'm going to have to use are whatever is supplied with the basic kit. 
which is not something I'm used to because I really don't like the kit ladders. They're plastic and they square and they don't look anything like photo edge one. But that's that's how it is. So yeah, I'm just gonna have to go with that. Uh, the same with these catapults. Uh, I looked at the catapults and thought, oh, they don't look nice with the photo etch on it, and then realized that my detail kit version doesn't have any photo etch included. But they still do look good, uh, the kit ones. Um, yeah, so that's, that's an update on that. Um, so yeah, it shouldn't take long to get through these steps of doing the, the two catapults and the crane. Um, although crane also goes over to step 10 and 11 as well so a fair bit there okay so i will continue i don't know if you can see how the detail in there you can see all the rivets and it's quite nice this little piece here just slides on which is where the aircraft sits on it actually slides along so you can position where you want that aircraft to be uh, there's a little bit of pipe that's going to go in on the side there uh, this, this section here goes underneath and it really fits nicely it's, yeah it just snaps in there but it's a nice fit and of course the whole thing will sit on this um, and this doesn't get glued in so this can turn around on the deck so, yeah i think that'll be that looks quite good uh there's also in the kit i've really noticed that when you build a piece from instructions for instance this little bit here or even the projector one um you'll notice there's a door on the kit on there it has a door obviously into the room so i thought well surely there's photo which doors is so I went through the kit and found the sheet that had all the doors and I found the door that looked like that and I was like, right, I'll use that. So I used that door for there. So I think things like doors, uh, there's going to be some left over uh, and more than I need. There usually is in these kits. So I should be able to have no problem covering the whole kit with doors. Now, what I also noticed, I should mention that the MK1 uh, detail set that uh, you can get that's more expensive, uh, it has all the extra uh, photo etch, has extra pages. Um, and the extra pages show um, the construction of more parts like the catapults and the crane. And sections on the tower all these extra bits it also includes a few extra photos of the ship um, completed ship where you can go in like these find the areas where you're putting your pieces and what I've noticed is that because this doesn't include those extra photos there's areas of the ship I can't see so this these photos don't cover all the ships so there's areas for instance, where that projector room is, there's no photo on here that shows this in it. So I couldn't go in and find if there's a door on there fitted. Or if there's something else, a vent or, or some other photo edge fitted. So there's areas missing. Um, which just makes the investigation part of where everything goes a little bit trickier. <laughs> Especially now that every single item I build as I go through the kit, I have to correspond this with the location on the ship and then go from the location on the ship and hope that I have it in the photos on here and I can find that piece and go, ah, there is photo itch for that. Because, um, for instance, these little parts here they tell you the gun directors these the boats all these bits here the searchlights and everything the t 
turrets, the planes, all these bits and pieces, well, they don't show everything. So they don't show this projector room. They don't show this vent um, that you go back and you find that, oh, there is photo etch for that. But anyway, it all makes it all just that little extra challenge. Um, but not to say I'm not enjoying this. This is, this is really good. I am. And uh, especially the fact that it's a 200 scale, whereas all my previous shifts have been 350. I like the fact that pieces are larger and photo etch is a little bit bigger and easier to handle. And when pieces ping off into the carpet or somewhere on my messy workbench dining table here, uh, they're a little bit easier to find. Uh, right, so I'll get back into this and um, I'll show you when I've completed, say, the two catapults. We'll have a look and see how they look. All right, back in a sec. Okay, so we're back with uh, crank built. Um, but what I didn't realize was uh, over the page, there's another two, three, another one, four more cranes to build. So, but anyway, we've done construction uh, seven, eight, step nine. So I'll just show you how these have come out. So the first, oh, catapults, of course. First catapult, this one. You can see the detail in that's really quite good you can see all the rivets along there there's a pipe going across and the whole thing will rotate on the rear of the deck I think that one goes uh, this slides across here the aircraft will fit then we've got this one which also has a sliding piece on the back here the aircraft uh, nice little platform and gangways along there one piece of photo etch sitting on the end there again nice detail and underneath um, I think that's the one that's on top of the turret and then we go into the cranes or well, the first of five cranes of this one and that's come up quite quite nice a little bit of photo edge for the hook on the end there. Um, it went together really nicely. It looks nicely detailed as well. Um, that sits on this and goes up and down. So constructions actually have nylon lines running through the pulleys here, which I've got some easy line, which will I'll do much much later after I painted it. But definitely run some easy line across there. So it looks but. Uh, yeah, so they, they look quite nice. Um, I was concerned because there was no photo edge for those in the detail kit, but I'm happy that that's the way they've come out anyway. Um, it's quite good. Um, so I'll move on to step 10 and 11, which will be uh, two more cranes here. Quite a few bits and pieces there. There's also step 11, there's a crane that's got right and left. Yes, that will be the work with the um, uh, lifeboats, moving them on and off. Uh, yeah, so I'll, I'll, I'll make a start on that. I'm not sure how much photo etch there is for these, but we'll check on that too. And, um, and uh, yeah, there is a bit of photo etch on them. There may be some in the detail kit too. I'll have to go through it uh, carefully and have a look. But, yeah, there's nice cranes there back shortly and we'll have a look at some more cranes hey welcome back um, so show from a bit of a different angle things so as you know we're up to the cranes here we'll show you how that's coming out so I'm in the process of building two of these see that good um, the bits on the top there um, there'll be another piece to go on top of that tower um, so yeah 
showing a bit more of the view that you go to you can see from the camera. Um, as you can see up here, I've got my painters all labeled by the different steps of the build process. Keep all those safely up there. When this one's done, that'll be up on the first spot. Uh, here's my detailed kit. You can keep my instructions here. Uh, so always handy, same with these here. Not that a basic kit, all there. See where everything is. Photo etch, I'm working on. Uh, my left here, I keep all my sprues here in a large container. You see they're all labeled so I can easily reach down the particular letter. A, B, C, D, E, F, whatever. Um, photo etched in there. All the other bits of decking and so forth. Out of the way if I need them, but make things easier without searching for pieces. Um, you might notice up there on my left is the wood I built previously. That's beside the Missouri. Down here we've got the Kitty Hawk, which um, is also the trumpeter 1350 scale. Uh, big job that that came with the detail up kit in that, which costs more than the ship. About a thousand dollars worth of model there. Parts. Um, notice it's also connected via USB. The lights, as I did the whole um, hangar deck in there. That's all aircraft have been working in the hangar deck, lights up at night time. That's my uh, that's my Christmas tree. Um, down below there is the USS Franklin. Um, the aircraft on the deck. Um, inside is the Japanese Kuma. Another aircraft carrying ship. Of course my Go back to the previous video, you'll see it's got one of the um, I 400 Japanese submarine, which is also an aircraft carrier. Um, uh, I don't particularly have an interest in aircraft carriers, it's just I just bought them, and yeah, they just turned out to be aircraft carriers. So the hood was fine, and the Buru was fine, and now I'm doing this uh, Arizona. Of course, the Arizona is the 200 scale, so it'll be about the size of the Kitty Ball. It's almost exactly the same size as the Kitty Ball, which is one 350 scale. So, yeah, this is uh, where I have everything hopefully within reach. Uh, I've got a good LED light here, <laughs> lights up the place well. These drawers are handy here for all my brushes and putty and stuff I mainly access for doing detail work. Um, there's some sanding blocks in here with pencil sharpness. We've got blue tack. I don't know what you call it where you're from, but blue tack. This is stuff here. Very, very useful stuff. We've got tons of razor blades for using bending photo etch mostly. More screwdriver drill bits, pulling out portholes and so forth. Up here we got tape. I use what we call frog tape. I find does a great job. Um, it's not too expensive. Find it in the hardware store. And, uh, it's really good. Uh, there's also the easy wire or easy line I'll be using for all the rigging on the ships that I do. One roll of this will last forever, there's 30 odd meters in there, or 100, stay there, 100, 100 feet, 30 meters, there we go. Uh, up here we've just got some bits of stock, um, plastic, adding extra bits and pieces to, decals are all kept in there. They're pads, as 
So I use uh, my boots for putting the glue on. Okay, good. Fill up the page, throw it out, start the next page. Glue doesn't seep through. It's uh, very handy to keep the glue on. Got a little junk bin of plastic offcuts. I don't know why I'm keeping them, but I don't think I've had to go through it for any reason, looking for anything. But today I throw them out. Today I probably will. This I give you for a bit of paint testing. Uh, and the photo which itself, because it's kit, I've kept. Uh, yeah, so I've got all the screws of beautiful brass photo etch for this kit. Uh, in here, I have all the brass parts, also resin bits for the, uh, the main cannons, turrets, for the cupboards for the cannons, the anchor chain, and then all the uh, Little bits of metal that I'll eventually be using on this kit as part of the MK1 detail up kit upset. So keep all that in there. Along with that's the photo which the kit came with. Um, that's it. Oh, plus one uh, the full packet of uh, railings in here as well. which also included the uh, anchor chain, propeller shafts, gut barrels, uh, some nylon, and screw. Alright, so I'll continue on with these uh, cranes. Um, I didn't realise that these actually see this. Uh, yeah. So, I thought that was another crane, but it's not actually the same crane. It's like two of these I'm building. Then I need to build these posts on top that will go on top here, which has another bit of scaffolding that looks like it's some sort of reach across as a support beam uh, to the top of the crane. And some more bits to go underneath that looks quite like photo etch underneath. They look, they look quite good. Um, I do have to be a bit careful because that's the right frame and then over the page is the left frame. So we'll go into that a bit more when I complete them but you have to be careful if you're doing proper left and right because there are notches here. So, so these will sit a certain way on the deck there's a notch in there so it's going to sit a certain direction which means the crane's going to point out this way where it mounts on there and then on top there'll be an extra piece that's coming out as a support bracket on the top of the crane there and there's the left and right version of that so I'm that also in the top there is directional as well there's a notch there so piece that sits on there is going to face that certain way. Um, so yeah, it's just a matter of making sure you've got them facing in the right direction. Which I'm 99% sure I have. But look at the plane here. So that piece will go up on here. This will be the, the one I'm doing here. Uh, I guess this will be the left one or the right one. I don't know, I'll figure it out. But I'm pretty sure it will sit here and attach across there. I'm confident this will work. <laughs> so, it's all good, it's all good. All right, so be back shortly. Sorry, uh, the microphone was not close enough, so. Um, yeah, so I'd like to just repeat what I was trying to say was the um, turrets are next. I'll save that for the next video. And um, this, this video is going to be released on Christmas morning. 
that's in Australia, most of the rest of the world will be Christmas Eve. So, uh, wish everyone a Merry Christmas. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. It will be part six. Thank you. Bye now. Okay, so as you can see, the cranes are finished. They're looking quite good. A bit of the photo etch for railings there and labels left and right so we don't get them mixed up. Put together really nice. Uh, it's, it, like I said before, it's great working on a larger scale. Uh, you can see things so much better. <laughs> um, so they're in their box. That's actually step 10, 11, 12 for the construction of the cranes. Uh, and the next step, 13, be exciting because it's the turrets. So I'll save that for part six video. I'll finish this one here as this will be Christmas Eve. I'll be releasing this video. Uh, Christmas morning, Christmas day. It'll be Christmas Eve most places in the world. Is uh, Australia's a day ahead most. So I wish everyone a happy Christmas tomorrow, even though it's today. That won't confuse things. And uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and follow. Um, get notifications of when the next video will come out. Uh, give us a thumbs up if you liked the video and comment below. And, um, I'll see you after Christmas. Cheers.